Okay. So we're here. I just off screen skipped through all of the shit we've seen 400 times and got to the point where we're like mean lining shoes ending. So we we'll start from here, semester two, now that we've got to this point. Surely it won't mess up. So normally you hand the ID to Nanaki, but in this case you hand it to Shu if you hang out with Shu for too long. And someone's ID. Don't know what to do with it. I bring it here. It goes closer. Start printing out tests. Get out. Wait. Hmm? Where do you find this? Staircase. The language of the guilty. <laughs> Great. Having seen the true ending early, that kind of we can kind of guess how much of an ass this guy it really is, and he's a bit of a shitbird. <laughs> Don't know the ending specifically for him though. Go look around. Mmm, food stalls. New content. So maybe I'll go get some lunch. Content lunch. Ooh, new screen. A familiar silhouette floats by on the other side of the schoolyard. Doctor. I thought he cooped up in infirmary doing so. Oh, he'd be here. Yeah, same. Aisle. Avoid him like the plague. Invite him to lunch. I have to catch up to him first. Run, 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 run. He did go this way, right? Ah, did I lose him? Where did he go? There aren't even any stands here. Is there anything outside the main area? Here is the... Why does the school have an incinerator? What the fuck? Who goes there? The language of the innocent. Dwang. It's Doctor. I was following him up until a minute ago and now he's behind me. Ninja Doctor. It's you. Stalking is a bad habit, young lady. Kinda is. No, I wasn't. Just wondering what you were doing. I thought I said it's cringe. Is it a is it a crime to walk about one's own school? There's nothing back here. There's the incinerator. Why? I was placed in charge of the science club's activities today. I just came back here to get rid of some things that were left over. Unneeded. Dot dot dot. Things. He could try to look less guilty. It's like he wants to be caught. Things. Change the subject. Would you like to walk around together? I heard the haunted houses. No, thank you. Please let me finish before you refuse. I am supervising the science club, so I do not have time for fraternization. Okay. I return to the cafe, scared off by his obstinance and my own survival instinct. Bah. If only I could tell how she plans her actions, I could deal with her fairly easily. How troubling. Mmm. Sounding bad. Doesn't sound like dating. My cat's being weird. Excuse me.
got a side issue. Mm, we read this conversation a few times, don't we, as well? Huh? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, where is Sakazaki? We haven't seen him since we threw him under the bus. He won't be here today. Or tomorrow. Or the day after. Oh god, this is so sinister. What do you... He's been absent for almost a month now. I never realized... Did something happen? Who knows? He was never a very... He never was a very good student. No one's surprised to see him playing hooky again. Ho, ho, ho. You know something about it, don't you, sir? Of course not. I know only what happens within this little room. That somewhat alluring, slightly evil smile on his face tells me all I need to know. He had a hand in this. Or a wing. <laughs> you do know something. Sleeping pills. Huh? What are you standing around for? You're his replacement now. Count our supplies and mark down anything we're low on. I think that counts as an explanation. You are skipping school. I never thought him as that type, and he hasn't even called me. But did you decide to become an assistant here, Mr. Saka? Because, um, I... Like you, sir. Thought it sounded fun. I like you. That's so. I'm starting to like you, too. Though I can't say I thought much of you at first. He likes me. Is that good or bad? I can't tell if it's love or fear for my life. Fear. <laughs> that's that's what I find attractive in a partner. Terror. Sheer terror that they're going to fucking stab me in my sleep. That's like reminiscent of one of my relationships. I wonder where you you went. Tests. Tosaka. Yay, I win. Ha <laughs> ha, take that. Oh well. <laughs> Yippee. Almost here. Squishmash. Oh, someone at the door. Pelican. Howdy, Pelican Express here with a package for a Miss Tasaka. This is new. Why is the exclamation point not there? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank, little girl. <laughs> Have a good one. Uh, I wonder what it is. I haven't ordered anything. It's from the doctor. There's even a letter. I greatly appreciate your hard work in the infirmary. I hope this suits your taste. Murray Krishmush. Iwamini Shu. He has really nice handwriting. Let's see what's in here. There's a big box and a small one. Inside the small box is a quill pen. It's beautiful. A real white bird feather. You're really giving this to me? It looks pricey. The big one is... Huh? This looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. This is Hannibal Lecter shit. <laughs> it's still warm. Oh no, don't eat. Oh no, she ate him. She ate you, yeah. No. <laughs> the sun, here comes the sun. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna get sued. Looks like I'm still alive. That feels like that's there as a check to say, by the way, you haven't been killed now. If you'd failed, you would have been killed at this point with the still alive comment. You don't get to the shrine if you get killed. Hey, Ryuta. What are you doing? I'm working here. Good for you. Cooling. I didn't forget. 
in conquest. Here you go. Thank you. The first days are always busy. Oh well. We don't have time for the lunch. Maybe some other time. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just adding ah to everything. Okay, thanks. See you. And he was gone like a ghost. Hmm. Happy new chicken. Oh, hello. Do you get fortune? Every time the chicken of ill omen. This one. Osechi blessed. Osena Oseki. This is new for me. Good year for me, great. Wait, isn't that Doctor Dwang? He's standing away from the crowd. He looks fluffier than usual. Expect to see you celebrating the New Year, sir. Hardly. I have no interest in gods, temples, or fun. Yep, that's what I thought. What's he doing here? What are you here for, then? I just happen to be passing by. But there's nothing else here, so why the fuck would you be? Is it a crime to aimlessly wander the city in the morning? It is a crime to murder people, so... And walk around murdering. Just wandering. Such a crowd all at once, and as you said, there's nothing else around here. Who would notice if one or two were to disappear? Now you are saying crimes. He's like, is it a crime to do this? Let me describe a real crime that I'm also in the process of doing. Well then, goodbye, Mr. Saka. Happy New Year, creepy fucking weirdo. <laughs> to be fair, you really have to chase this doctor, so it's really like, you have to be mainlining him. So it's a bit like, you know, it's my fault. Like, if only dealing with creeps was this easy in the real world. Trust me, even as a dude, you get a lot of fucking weird fucking chicks. Texting you all the time, telling you how single they are. And you're going, great, I noticed. <laughs> like, you know. Let's enjoy time while it lasts. Be mildly pleasant to people. Receive horrible attention you do not want. <laughs> Even as a dude. <laughs> Still light out. So maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Tomorrow's bean day. Here for beans. Disgraceful beans. Good evening, here for beans. Pricey. We're going to buy the racing blend. If it means. Preps are complete. Time to give the beans to that special somebody. I do not recall summoning you to duty today. What is it? <laughs> I was going to say, he's cheating on me. With a stack of papers. Fiend. Even look at me. He wants me to leave. You know what day it is, Doctor? February 3rd. Glasses at the calendar above his desk and returns to his papers. There. <laughs> the anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. Really? Of course, test tube babies had been successfully grown before then. So what did you want? Were you hoping I would transfer you to an Ethan? <laughs> no. I'd have to be a really sad girl to be fantasizing about bird eggs in school. <laughs> Is uh, still kind of sad. I'm giving you beans. I give beans to the boy you like. So <laughs> here, you're giving these to me. Yes. He finally looks over at me, but his expression is still no. It's changed to something creepy. These are quite elegantly packaged. Yes, I got the most expensive ones. 
So these were sold to you as some sort of luxury item, I see. Such a thing would never have occurred to us if we had lived long ago. To think that we live in a society where price is completely disconnected, disconnected from amount and nutritional value. Is this a roundabout way of saying that beans aren't worth their price tag? The value comes from the fact that they are expensive alone. Fascinating. I shall experiment on them later. You're supposed to eat. <laughs> the nutritional value and appearance aren't important. The important part is the fact that I gave them to you today. You gave me beans that anyone could get with money. Worthless. <laughs> wow, what the f Rejected. Your resistance only makes my maiden heart burn stronger. <laughs> what the fuck did I just read? In that case, I'll bring you beans that I grew myself next year. Just you wait. That wasn't creepy at all. He was just like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, I have to go to the infirmary and get murdered. The doctor's not here. The infirmary is quiet and peaceful. The orderly rows of medicines. The neatly made the... Huh? Something stinks. Oh, made bed. It's coming from the bed. I'm screwed. The red mist has descended! <laughs> the sheets are stained red. At the foot of the bed sits a wash basin. It's liquid pink with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers. The blood on the bed is still wet. This is... She disappeared after going to the infirmary. Yuya. That mysterious smile the doctor gave when I asked him. To get out of here. Zoinks. <laughs> I need to report to the police. I gotta get, gotta get out. Gotta get out. I need to get out. <laughs> You're early. Dwang! You're rather pale. Why don't you lie down in the blood? <laughs> like, the doctor, this blood. Oh, forgive me, I just love the blood. Fucking hell, just come out with it. I just finished dismembering another student and hand cleaned up yet. Please pay it no mind. He didn't even try to deny it. What the dick tits? Dwang. Was that the sound of a gun cocking? Oh, this the door's locked. Still getting pretty bad. Tension is rising. Going home soon? So soon? But he locked the door and it won't open. Indeed it won't. There are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over. Like you. The doctor, you. Really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments. Do you really need to ask? Is <laughs> yeah, to be fair, there's literally blood and gore everywhere. After all, you even helped me. Helped you? I would never. Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Just at the start of the semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. You brought back the ID card of one of my guinea pigs. I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out. Thanks, bro. <laughs> we can't leave things like that lying around. Pigs will be on us faster than you think about it. Here it comes. Thought you figured that out already. He's in here, Mr. Saka. In here. Oh, it's so worse that he strokes the stomach. My hands are clenching. It's horrible. The turkey. The big one is, huh? It looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey. Of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested and absorbed into your body, so what, we don't really know exactly where he is now, do we? He's poop. <laughs> no! That's so fucked up. I don't... Hands have gone numb. Don't like... How did he taste? <laughs> He's making it way worse by asking. 
And he knows. Look at him. He's so fucking smug. So he wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That was you, yeah. Ah, ah, that's a beautiful face, Mr. Saka. I have longed so dearly to see that face. You could tell from the start that I was dangerous for you, and yet you came to see me again and again, very assertively. Yeah, to be fair. I just had to come for infirmary duties, and I bought you beans. Is that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No, I want to say, but my st but my tongue is like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe I love this murdering creep. I'm afraid that I have room for only one love in my life, and that is research. And it would be cruel to ignore your, but it would be cruel to ignore your. And so I put much more into how I might reward you. Your eternal reward. <laughs> Straight up jafaring it over here. Just cutting you out would be a pity. I think I want to keep you by my side. Forever! <laughs> gonna kill me. I know he's gonna kill me, so why can't I move? And so this is what I deceive. I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by, so I will remove your bran. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry, you won't go to waste. I will make sure to examine your insides most intimately. Suddenly, a cleaver materializes. You will be chased after Desola most diligently. I suppose you are too afraid to speak now. My vision shifts to the ceiling, the wall, the floor, my eyes rolling wildly, the world twists, soaked in red. And so my life came to an end. Now, so you just chop my head off. We have an emergency report from the Pigeonation Project. The researcher we dispatched to the school has stolen a highly classified sample and fled. He took sample HB087, the human head. We have not confirmed that he is armed. We have sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our retrieval squad should take care of everything quickly. Please help yourselves. She's Danish are rather good. Glad that I was trivialized for cheese Danish. Hmm. Have these brutes no mercy? Though I did agree to this from the start, ho ho. How is studying maps better than this? We seem to be in a bit of a pickle, Mr. Saka. They suddenly ask that I give you to them, and to think that until now they considered you worthless. I was the one who preserved you so beautifully. You like the jar? You like it. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you know the mere exposure effect it states that one can become attracted to things simply through repeated contact with them? A conundrum, indeed. I think perhaps I have felt new emotions since I acquired you. We have but little time left together, I fear. I do not like the idea of handing you over to them, so I think I shall break you once more. Of course, do not wish to force you into a double suicide. I shall break this glass only after confirming your feelings. You loved me, did you not? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Middle yes. Ho 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 ho. Thank you. I am so glad I got to kill you. Good night, Mr. Saka. Contact in the water left side. Weapons free, take him down. <laughs> Are you all freaked out? I really feel uncomfortable with a lot of this. So eating another student. Don't like it. All of it. I don't like all of it. Don't like all of it. Oh, we were a happy couple because we all got fucking killed. Great. Look, it even pinged. 